So here we have red belly, I call it. Uh, I don't know exactly what causes it. I hear it's uh, the start of mange. Just heats up in there. It's too bad it ruined this wolf. Otherwise it was pretty furred up. Except for right here is the shoulder mites. So it should have long hair, long guard hair across its shoulders, which this one doesn't. Uh, it's prevalent in the canines, not as bad this year as it has been in other years. Um, I know down south, I was with one guy and he said, well, it's better and we were catching coyotes that didn't have it. And normally last year in some areas it was 50% of the coyotes that were caught had that. So it's a, it's a lice that eats the roots of the guard hair and then it falls out and makes that useless. Uh, what I'm going to salvage on this wolf is I'm going to pull that tail off and I'll tan it up. And I'll take the back feet off and the front feet. And uh, the front feet, we'll do a demo there on how to skin them out for taxidermy. And then I'll take the skull off this. Um, the top of the head of the wolf is very pretty, but underneath it has that that red tinge to the fur. Otherwise, it would have maybe been nice to get a head mount done on it, but I utilize what I can. But I just wanted to show you guys what shoulder mites look like. It's different than mange. Mange is, uh, let's see this wolf. Here's, it doesn't quite have mange. I'm not sure what's up with it, but its hair is all matted. Mange would just uh, irritate the, the canine for them to rub their hair off and eats the hair roots on that as well. And then you'll just get a thick leathery skin and it gets really, really stinky and greasy. And uh, I don't think this one has, well actually this one does. Here we have a wolf. That other wolf had shoulder mites. This one here has the start of mange. This stinks. It's got a nasty odor. It's got uh, its furs matted. And then if you touch it, it's it's really thick and heavy with grease. Uh, not really gonna play with this one too much. I didn't know what the deal was, so I'm just gonna take the skull off of it and then I'll discard this in a spot where it shouldn't uh, affect anything. Alright, catch you later.